praise the lord good morning good afternoon and good evening and so excited and glad to see each of you this time and this is going to be a great call and learning and inspiring each of us i am prabhu a part of global team of 1 for 50 and this is a great joy to meet with you all and we have a great eminent presenters today to teach us and to inspire us uh, sister brittany please with an opening prayer will you do that for us yeah lord i just want to thank you for this time thank you for this meeting of people who are unified in the goal for your kingdom lord and um i just want to ask your blessings on this conversation and this presentation god that you'll give Jonathan and Evelyn the words to say that you'll help us all learn from their experience and wisdom that you've blessed them with in your name I pray amen amen thank you i'm sure training is a passion for many of us today and we look for an opportunity to train and equip people isn't it i'm sure someone said this way training is charity we invest on people we sacrifice we inspire people and this is a call especially for the people who are looking for content to train others and we have the topic is today is integrating 414 academy courses into our 1450 training wow you know friends training we love to have people in person but some sometimes we have online training also but whoever the audience that we are going to meet up and god has called us with a passion to equip people so who are the audience and how are we going to teach what is the content that we are going to teach them that is what we are going to uh, learn from our two speakers today this time the topic that we are going to learn again is about integrating 414 course into our 1450 trainings and we have a presenter today i would like to uh, say a few words about brother jonathan stone i'm sure he doesn't need introduction but still i need to introduce him <laughs> our presenter today is jonathan stone though he lives in myanmar he also goes by ko lin to which means the one who has a light, great light jonathan is passionate about shining the light in myanmar and beyond advocating kids here for kids just like jesus did his core values are creating inspiration empowering the next generation building god's kingdom together jonathan is a missionary with the world venture as serves as an asia specialist on the child safety team he spends most of his time serving on the 1450 global leadership team conducting both in person and online trainings creating the video resources you get to enjoy on our youtube channel i'm so glad and blessed to have brother jonathan with us to share his Uh, experiences with 414 academy into 1450 or to brother jonathan thank you so much prabhu it's a joy to be back with you for another presentation for an enrichment call with 1 for 50 and i'm excited to work with everlyn today to present to you how to integrate a hybrid model of training with both in person and online. So a while ago we launched a poll. We're going to end the poll and share the results of that poll so you can see uh, those who are on the call when the poll began. You can see here about 59% of you have not yet taken any courses on the 414 Academy. So I would imagine that your action step after this training will be to go and take a course on the 414 Academy. about 12% of you have taken fewer than 5 courses on the 414 academy that's wonderful so you're familiar with the platform and you know how much of a blessing it can be some of you have completed more than 5 courses on the 414 academy and there's about 18% of you on the call which have trained others by requiring them to complete 414 academy courses and that is tremendous and we want to empower you today so that you can be in that category if we launch this poll a couple months from now i would love to see everyone who's on this call answer that final question that you have trained others by requiring them to complete 414 academy courses so we are just excited to go through this content today some of it will be familiar to you and we will be providing a folder of resources including this full powerpoint 
for both Everlyn and myself that you can access. So if you miss one of these slides with the QR codes and you don't quite get it, you don't click the link fast enough, it'll be also in the chat, but if the call ends and you still didn't get that link, we'll have some of these resources for you in the Google Drive. One of the documents that's in there is this 414 Academy information sheet. This is something that has been floating around our 1 for 50 uh, resources for a while, and it tells you very simply how to join the 414 Academy. So, so if you're doing a training and you want your participants to do a 414 Academy training as a part of your training, you can hand them this particular PDF, printed out or digitally. The 414 Academy is a collection of courses that have been put together by a family of networks. Uh, Global Children's Forum, 414 Movement, One Hope, One for 50. We all share the same heart and passion to see kids equipped and discipled. And so we want to equip those leaders who are working with the kids to do that. This 414 Academy is a collaborative effort of all of our different networks and organizations. There's a couple things that you should know before we jump into what is hybrid ministry. And the first part is to understand the difference between synchronous training, which is live training, and asynchronous training, which is self-paced learning. So in asynchronous training, your presenter is live. They are an actual person who has logged in or is standing in front of you at the same time that you are there, and they're the one giving you the content for the course. This is something that has a set schedule because you had to agree on a time and a place to meet, whether that place is online or in a physical location, and you had to agree on a time and a date in the calendar to be able to meet. So that's synchronous training. And the communication and feedback that you get from synchronous training is immediate. If you're in person, this happens by raising your hand and asking a question, and you get that immediate feedback from an instructor. If it's online, that it's a message back and forth through a social messaging app where that communication is immediate. That's synchronous training. So you see synchronous training can be either in person or online, but it's still a live training event. And we're contrasting that now with asynchronous training. Asynchronous training, the presenter is a, a video that's been pre-recorded. And that video is off doing something else by the time you get all around to watching that video as they share the content for you. And it is self-paced because the timing of this course is not locked to a certain time and place. If you don't sleep very well and you want to wake up in the middle of the night and take a course, you can do that. If you want to do that during lunchtime when all of your friends are eating their lunch and maybe you're not eating lunch that day, you can take a course on the 414 Academy. It's not limited to time. And the communication is a little bit slower. You might, if you have a question, you might send an email or uh, type a response into the course, and it may be some days before you hear back from, from that presenter or from the moderator of the course. So there are pros and cons to both synchronous and asynchronous training. And what we're going to do today is talk about how you can actually do both at the same time. We have examples of this in our 12 training. If you go onto the website, download the instructor's guide and hand out the participant notes to an in-person event, you will be doing that synchronous training. But if you log into the 414 Academy, you will be maybe perhaps taking the one for 50 family of courses on the 414 Academy, and that would be an asynchronous training. So just a difference between these live trainings and the 414 Academy, we use some different words that may be confusing. So in a live training, we might say the unit, and that would be the 12 or the family and parenting unit or the brokenness to wholeness unit. In the 414 Academy, we refer to that as a collection, like our one for 50 courses. It's the same thing as the 12 unit in our live trainings. We use the term lesson in a live training, like the lesson Jesus Heart for Children on the 414 Academy is a course that you take called Jesus Heart for Children. And then a section of that lesson, for example, Our World Today, would be a lesson within that course on the 414 Academy. So we can use some different words for some of these terms, but that's there for you so that you don't get confused. Anyone taking the 414 Academy is welcome to download the participant notes. They're right embedded in the course, so you'll be able to see those. You might, if you're doing a live training, give these out in person, but they have the option to do this digitally as well. In the 414 Academy, there's different sections. 
And some of them are knowledge checks and little games you can play in sections to read. But the parts I want to focus in on in, in the lessons are the think about it sections where a question is asked and there's a free open space for them to respond. And this really gets at the heart of what the training is about, not just filling their minds with information, but really getting their heart engaged in the content. And then there's sections called apply it. And these sections actually help. Remember, we talk about the head, the heart, and the hands. This is the hands. This is the part where we want them to put into practice the things that they've learned. And so we call it the apply it section. And they have opportunities to interact with some discussions on the 414 Academy. There's a post and other participants who have gone through, maybe have engaged. But that is pretty much the limit of the interactions that happen on a 414 Academy course. But it still is of some value. In fact, you can go on today and sign up for the 414 Academy Learner Introduction course. In this course, there's a welcome and registration. There's some instructions on how to use the 414 Academy. There's opportunities for you to see how you can get help. And the nice thing about this is that it is only 35 minutes. So it won't take you long, but it will set you up to be very successful as you take more courses. As we use this 414 Academy, we, want, we found it was incredibly useful during the time of the pandemic when everyone was locked down inside and had to do their learning online. But now we're trying to think about the 414 Academy in bigger ways. Now that the pandemic is over and we can meet in person, is there still value in the 414 Academy? Well, I would argue that the answer to that question is yes. I like to think about this question. How can the 414 Academy help me multiply training? Isn't that a question that we ask often when we are doing trainings, whether that's online or in person? And we have this wonderful resource in the 414 Academy, and we sometimes forget that it's there because things with the pandemic have kind of faded from our memory. I'm going to tell you about a time in Myanmar that I used the 414 Academy in connection with a live training event. And maybe this idea will inspire you to do the same. I gathered with some leaders from a local school and we assigned them some 414 Academy courses to complete. And then we had a scheduled Zoom call where they all got on. And remember those think about it and apply it questions? Well, those are the ones I asked them to pay special attention to because we talked about it. And what happened was it brought so much more value to the things that they were learning on the 414 Academy. No longer was it just a self-paced learning where you wonder, is anyone really going to see my responses? And what difference does it make if I give a long answer or a short answer? Well, this motivated them to really think about the content and gain a lot more value out of the training. So how might you use a hybrid model of synchronous live and asynchronous self-paced training? Maybe you can think of the, some ideas and if you're taking notes and you can write some of those things down. As you do this, you'll experience that same kind of success and it will be wonderful to hear the stories as you reportify and as you tell us about the things that have happened as you've used both 414 Academy content as well as in-person content. So you wanna do this, but where do you start? Well, there are some things that will be helpful for you if you think about them. So I'm gonna identify three different things that I would like you to think about if you would like to do a hybrid model of 414 Academy and live training. First of all, you need to articulate your expectations. Second, you need to facilitate discussion. And third, you need to provide support. I'll break these apart each one at a time. First of all, articulating expectations. As I went ahead and did a 414 collaborative training with an in-person training, I made sure that I was good with communication. I went ahead to the person who is in charge of the school and I told him my idea. I gave him a proposal about how I thought this could work both online and in person, both using 414 Academy courses, as well as some live in-person courses or lessons that we do all together in the same time and space, face-to-face -to -face together. And so that communication was helpful for them to be some clear expectations. We also had to communicate due dates about if they take a course on the 414 Academy, there's no due dates. By, by themselves 
unless you establish the due dates as a teacher or a trainer or a moderator of these courses. So that's a good thing to keep people motivated to keep taking those courses, to have those due dates. And then the kids love this one when I would teach in elementary school, give them homework. <laughs> homework tasks, even though it sometimes feels like busy work, actually homework tasks helps to take that in-person learning and makes it and makes it more um, engaging with them and actually allows them to take some of these courses self-paced in between the time where you do some Zoom discussions. So I would do this by giving a calendar about which dates they would need to do which courses by. I would also have a syllabus for them and have some of the information printed out and as a handout. So I would also then facilitate discussions. And you can do this in a number of different ways. You can do this in person, or you can do this via Zoom online. But to do it, you'll need to prepare some PowerPoint slides ahead of time. You'll need to pre-select some of the questions for the breakout rooms and even decide if some of those questions would be better answered as a large group. Some of those questions that you're going to keep your eye on that you'll want to discuss with your people after they've taken the course are those think about it and apply it sections of the 414 Academy. Some examples of that would be what truths did Jesus state about children in Matthew 18, 1 through 14? It'd be great to hear your participants' responses to that question. Or is Jesus' heart for children also your heart for children? What might God be asking you to do or think or do differently? And then how about this one for each of the following activities? What are one or two ideas you learned in this course that will begin that you will begin implementing or strengthening as you teach children God's word? Now, if you do this in large group in groups in person, you can put some paper in front and have them write their illustrations or their words on papers and then share it with the class. You can also do this live online and use a whiteboard feature and actually curate their responses from breakout rooms and share that back as a PowerPoint slide in your presentation as you debrief with them. And then at the end of your Zoom lesson or your in-person gathering, tell them you want them to pay specific attention again to the think about it and apply it questions for the next two lessons that will be due in the next time that you meet. Just as a reminder for you, when you're creating these PowerPoint slides, you're not reteaching the full lessons. There have already been taught in complete form in the 414 Academy, but you're just reviewing some of the content from them. You are simply providing them with some live discussion time. And then you'll also need to provide some support. So giving them some notes, again, if you have these printed out or give them to them digitally or let them know how they can download them from the 414 Academy. Maybe you have a Google Drive or something where you can save the recordings. And it'd be nice if you can give some certificates. We have some templates that you can find on the website. So think about setting up a Google Drive with these resources for your participants. Think about setting up a social media group like a WhatsApp or a Facebook group where you can stay in communication. And, and then celebrate with them when they finish the course with a certificate. And then when you're done, reportify. Remember, reportify is to testify to the mighty works of God and report on it to someone. You can do this as you're training and then encourage them to do it as well when they go and train others. Remember to articulate expectations, facilitate discussion, and provide support. The second time that I did this in Myanmar, I created a custom cohort called the One for 50 Cohort for Alpes. Myanmar Alpes is the name of the school. And I did things a little bit differently. I decided to teach the first lesson of the 12 in person, Jesus Heart for Children, because I wanted them to experience that live and interacting in groups face to face. And so when they went to the 414 Academy, I had them take the Start Your 414 Academy Learning Here course. And it did not have them take that first lesson. So in this, if you scan this, you can join that cohort and take those courses, but you're not going to find that first lesson of the 12 in that particular cohort, nor are you going to find the last lesson. Because after four weeks of working with these people, of doing some in person and teaching all of brokenness to wholeness in person, we then spent uh, every Friday over the next month, meeting on Zoom calls to discuss what they were learning through the courses. And then I went back in person on the final day to teach the last lesson of the 12 in person, as well as give them some next steps and some new ideas and resources. So you can join that custom cohort. But the thing is, with that particular cohort, you won't be able to see the back end because you'll be joining as a participant. You can have your participants join that one if you like it. 
but you'll have to take their word for it if they've completed the course. There are some more hybrid training resource examples in this Google Drive, and this link has all of the information that I'm about to tell you, with including this whole PowerPoint, so you can find all of this resource available to you. But let's say that you would like to create your own custom cohort, and you want to actually include some of One Hope's amazing presentations and Global Children's Forum's amazing presentations, and you want your students to learn with those as well as One for 50's training that are in the 414 Academy then you might want to become a moderator. And so how do you create a custom cohort? There's two steps for this. The first step would be to take the moderator's training. You can do that by scanning this QR code and registering. And then after you've completed that course, we have an honored guest on the call today and she'll be available to answer some of your questions afterwards after Evelyn shares. But Brittany Richardson works at One Hope and she is given us this academy at 414movement.com email that if you really want to set up a custom co cohort, she will help you to do this. And so you'll have an opportunity to ask myself, Evelyn, or Brittany at the end of this call, more questions and answers. Prabhu. Okay, wow. Thank you, friends. Uh, Brother Jonathan, I'm sure, friends, we all have got a lot of insights and content to teach our people. And we have our second presenter today is Evelyn. She's married and God has blessed her with a daughter, one year old and six months. She's passionate about teaching and teaching out to children by equipping children, uh, workers with uh, relevant skills on how to share the gospel with the children. She serves with One Hope as a training coordinator for Kenya and training coordinator for the Eastern African region. She spends most of her time on training children and youth workers both online and in person, and moderating 414 Academy. Sister Evelyn, we are so blessed to have you with us today on this call. And this time, I'm sure all our people will be blessed and learn so many things from you. Oh, to Sister Evelyn. Thank you so much, Brother Prabhu. And uh, thank you, Jonathan, for the highlights that you have given us. So I'm here today for a specific task, simple, just to take you through what I have gone through what I have taken others through and just to learn from each other and see where we can start from. So uh, first we'll kick off. I'll talk as fast as in Kenya, we are known as Maradonas. So we talk as fast as we can run. So for some of us who we are not able to run, we can talk as fast. So feel free to tell me to slow down if I go faster. <clears throat> So I'm going to take you through these six things, the 414 Academy self-paced online courses, getting ready for online courses, and our learning plan, sign up for the 414 Academy, and return to the 414 Academy. So some of you are hearing 414 Academy for the first time, and you are asking yourself, what does what is 414 Academy? What does the number 414 mean? So 414 Academy is a free online training resource for children and youth workers. And in that platform, you will be able to learn through engaging courses that are developed specifically for children and youth workers. And the 414 Academy supports of their main vision, which is awaken generation. So the 414 Academy is driven by a clear purpose to nurture a child God's awareness in the development window between the age of 4 to 14 and even 18. Basically, if you work with children below the age of 20, this is the best for you. And if you work with children and you don't have time to go and sit down in a training or to visit or to go and sit down three days in a training or two days or a week, this is the best platform for you where you can be able to learn. You can be able to do so many things in your own pace, in the comfort of your house. What do we mean by self-paced online learning? Yeah. So self-paced online learning, it's easier to say it's self-paced, but self-paced is completed in an online platform or a website have no live instruction. Just like Jonathan says, it's not like the Zoom training that you are doing now. It's not like any training that you have a facilitator standing in front of you and giving you some 
points. So this is has no live instruction. It includes videos to watch, page to read, questions to answer and to take, and other activities to complete. So it's a whole lot of activities going on through that platform. So you will find in every course, you will find a course path, a video, and an activity. These you will be required to do all following one another. So first, you will do the introduction first. And then you will find a video. So all of the training at the 414 Academy, I think the ones that I've done has a video. So you will listen to the video. And at the bottom of the video, you will find a transcript that you will download. So the transcript is more of the video teachings that are there. So in an event where you don't understand the speaker, in the video, you will go back and read what you have already downloaded at the transcript and you will be able to understand more. So most of the, I've had most people complaining that that English was too difficult for me, but the transcript is there to help us understand more on the video. And when you have gone through the video and you have read the content, you now apply it. So make sure you just give us or answer well, you can, we're going to apply the content in your church or in your ministry, yeah? So after that, I'm going to ask you a question. What are some of the benefits of taking a self-paced online course? Sometimes the internet isn't great with online courses until it improves. On my own time, you are responsible over your personal learning. Yes, that's true. So self-paced online courses, there are other benefits that has. It's flexible. Number one, it has community and it's affordability. It's flexible in a way that you can be able to learn just using your phone, your smartphone. You don't have to have a laptop or a computer or a desktop to just do the course. Even having your phone, you can be able to do the course. It has a community. Yes, it's not a live instruction course. It not has a facilitator standing in front of you, but it has so many people in the platform where they are doing the same thing that you are doing. And there you will be able to have a community, even if you're not seeing them, but there is a community. And the best part is affordability. You're not going to ask or use money to do to buy some books and so this is very affordable especially if it's also affordable in a way that it saves you time you will not need to take three days for a training you don't need to plan for a training for the whole year so this you can be able to enroll and start learning at the comfort of your home something else that we normally forget or we normally don't take it really serious is when we are getting ready for online courses it's easy for us to click the button and register for a course and end up just going looking at it and leave it there so it's easy for most of us to just see a link and click on it or see a code and scan on it and don't do anything after that so when you are getting ready for an online course there are things that you need to prepare both personal and also looking at your schedule and your time. As much as it's self-paced, there are things that you need to prepare. You need to prepare physical. So for physical preparation, you will need a device. And in this case, it's either a phone, a tablet, or a computer to assess the course. You will need data to load the website on your device. Or even to go through the course, you will need a dat data. You will need updated browser. Look for any updated browsers on the Google, like Google Chrome that you are using. So most, more often than not, we find people saying, I'm clicking on the link, it's not working, it's not opening. And the issue is their browser is not updated. Some of the people say the courses take long to load, the courses are just slow. That means it's just data. So when you are preparing to go and do an online course at the 414 Academy, ensure that you look, you have a smartphone, 
you have a data or you have an updated browser. That we rarely, that we need in this self mentally for this course. Number one, this. So sometimes we give you this, we give you remind. Don't have discipline. We might do all that, but then nothing happens. Determination. Be willing to practice and grow in using the online platform and navigate through the course. Determination is very important in the 414 Academy because online learning is not something that we, most of us, the millennials and the rest of the generations were not brought up knowing, especially in Africa. So you are not aware of all these nitty gritties that you need to do through an online. So you need determination and you need really to push yourself. Even when you fail, you also need to push yourself. And support, reach out for help when you need it. Don't feel ashamed that, ah, they, what will they say that I am not able to do an online, a simple online course. We are here to help you. We are here to support you. And we are here to support one another to learn and to be able to reach more children and youth workers. Yeah. So for the motivation in the book of Hebrews 13, 20, the Bible says, now may the God of peace, who through the blood of the eternal covenant wrote back from the dead, our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, equip you with every good for doing his will. And may he work in us what is pleasing to him through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Yeah, so all these things have been provided for you and they are free for you. So as much as all these things have been provided for you, just to encourage that we use them very well. We enroll to a course and complete it and may God help us and may God give us strength even as we go through. Now, we move to the next part where, when we are, in, we are learning at the 414 Academy, you can do it as an individual, just go through, Register the 414 and you can choose the course that you want and do any course that you like to do. And you can also do as a group. You can decide that in this team, we are going to learn as a team. You can going to learn as a group. So you can decide to do it as a group, which as One Hope East Africa, we have been doing it in our Children and Youth Workers Network. And at some point we were doing in the learning path that we have the 1450 the 12 is a compulsory course that you have to do and we realized that it was it was long it was three days so it was difficult to get the people to sit for three days and also it was difficult to get people gather in one place for the three days thereby we decided to move this to online platform where you can just learn as a team so when we come and train you the first level in charge we put you in the same cohort and in that cohort we give you the link and you do all these the 12 course within a given time so within a given time also we were giving the learners the timeline the schedule and reminding them then we realized that as much as we were giving them all these things most of them we were closing them out before they complete, majority of them. And some of them were completing it within a week or two, and they're asking what next. So we decided to leave all our groups open for some time because we have those who are quick learners and slow learners simply because this is our self paced yeah? So plan to dedicate a group. We will learn for approximately eight weeks. For the one for 50, the 12 course, it's eight weeks and you can, some of, I've seen people doing it in one week. I've seen people doing it in two weeks. So at the 414, it depends with your speed and when uh, your availability also. So that one is not like it's compulsory. You have to finish it at eight weeks, but it's designed to take you through the eight weeks. At the platform, you will be able to, if you are learning as a group, you will need to have a moderator. And you will need to be trained as a moderator. So there is a course that trains people to be moderators. If you're thinking of leading others through this platform, 
first you need to do to go and just click on the course on moderators and just take the course so that you'll be able to know how to moderate a group or a team of learners at the platform. Learning schedules, you can decide to do schedules, timelines, and also just send a message weekly, or you can decide to use WhatsApp. What have worked for us is putting a cohort in a WhatsApp group and just keep reminding them in a WhatsApp group, and also having a moderator who is from the same country as those learners, it's also easier to reach them or to even reach you. And also given the time difference, it's easier for communication and all that. And the learning path, you can learn as a group or an individual, as I said, but ha having to go as an individual, you, it's easy to get lost in the platform. There are thousands of topics there. It's easier to even click and not complete any. But when you have people who are accountable, people who are working with you, it's easier to go through the platform. Now, when you are doing it as a group also, it's very advisable that you celebrate the achievements of the learners. You issue certificates. You have a graduation with the learners, either online or do a physical graduation and just give them a certificate. So for us, we have a certificate that we have created and at the 414 Academy, there is a certificate also that you can be able to get. So when you complete, we send you through email or we can just call a gathering and just issue certificates and make it a big celebration or a small celebration just to celebrate learners. When it comes to signing up for the 414 Academy, which is really important, you will be able to get a link, an invitation link when you are signing up as a group. But when you are signing up as an individual, there is just a simple link that you can just go to the path right and just click and register and do any course. But when you are working, you are doing it as a group, each group has a unique registration link. This link will be shared with you through email or a messaging tool or a WhatsApp, and you can be able to click on it and get started. When it comes to signing up, you will already, if you already have an account at the 414, for those who already have, you don't need to create another account. So if you already have an account, you click, I have an account. And if you forgot your password, you use the forgot password to get the password and reset and just go on. If it's your first time signing in for the 414 Academy, you click, I don't have an account, complete the registration form, be sure to save the email and password you use to register so you can sign in again. And then you click sign in. It's that simple and you are already in the platform and you have all these courses given to you. Or if you're learning as a group, you can do the group one and then you can also just go around the library and get more courses to take. And then you, you can just click register and you are now registered for the course collection and you can begin learning. So some of the people just register and at that day they just do one or two courses and others just register and it remains registered until you close the course, they're still registered but they have not even continued taking the course. Yeah, now, when you begin the, collect, the course collection, there is get started button to begin the collection that you have been given. That is when you are doing it as a group. And there is a start, for, start button on the first course in the collection. So you will be able to see that the two start. And the best part about the 414 Academy is when something comes up and you get find yourself leaving abrupt you will be able to go back to where you left it from. You don't need to go and start all over again. Or if your internet just goes or stops, or if it rains, especially when it rains, our internet tends to, to go off. So if it rains, you don't have to own and you can continue from there. So the, the first 
that's really, really important for everyone to learn more about the platform. So most of the things I've said, some of things are past your ears, but when you take this course, you can be able to know how to navigate through the platform, how to go around the platform. Now, the question that always ask is, after logging out in the platform, how do I return back to the 414 Academy? So returning back to the 414 Academy is not difficult. It's as easy as you take the link that you have and just sign in with the password and the email that you use to register. It will take you straight to your collection and you can continue from where you stopped from. You can also go to the, you, after re, going in the platform, you can go to the homepage, click at the menu and click on the homepage and you can be able to find your collection and you can continue from there. And you can see also it has a library. So in an event where your collection was too short for you or you took so much, you took so little time to complete, you can feel free to go to the library and take other courses of your liking. There are so many topics, different topics that you can be able to take. Very important. And click on the collection title to enter the set of course and continue learning. Online courses that you have started will show on your home screen. So if you do a thousand of them, you'll be able to see them in your collection. And when it comes to resuming or starting the course, on the course you want to continue, you just click start or resume from where you left from. For the next course, it will give you start. So my point of um, winding this up is when you are uh, registering for the platform, ensure that you save that password somewhere or write it somewhere. It's easy to lose it and you'll find that you are not able to log in and sometimes getting, when you click uh, forget password, as I said, it's, it's not the moderator who is going to reset the password for you. It's the 414 Academy team and that might take time. So ensure that you keep that password safe so that you can be able to click on it anytime you want to and just get registered. And something else before I end is you have to have a working email address so that you can be able to register at the 414 Academy. So I've seen this work. I've done this with more than 3000 plus people. And I'm sure that each one of us here can do this and you can be able to be equipped and learn more from this platform for you, for your church workers, for your ministry workers. This is the best program for you that you can be able to start moving forward. So thank you so much. I will now invite your questions. If you have any question, you can just put it in the chat as I give it back to Rob. Thank you so much, Sister Evelyn. That was really great with a lot of practical tips how to go further in our real life. I'm sure this will help our team to equip ourselves. We had one question about having these courses, having everything that we presented available if you didn't get the slide. A while back in the chat, Spurgeon posted a link that's entitled 414 Resources. That will give you a link to a Google Drive folder with examples of some of the supporting documents we, we made, this PowerPoint presentation, so you can open it up and get those QR codes and get all those links again. There was also a question from someone asking whether the 414 Academy was available or would be available as an app on the phone rather than a link. Brittany, do you have any response to that question? Yeah, I saw that one. That's a really good question. So the way Pathright works and the way they have kind of intentionally designed themselves, previously they had an app and now they don't, but they have optimized the website to work on mobile browsers. So it should be like a mobile friendly environment through the web, but they don't have a standalone app right now. Vishnu, you have a question regarding signups. Do only the trainers need to register or should all attendees sign up as well? So as you create a custom cohort, and once you've been trained as a moderator, you will want to generate, and with Brittany's help after taking the moderator's course, you'll understand this more, but you will generate, as Evelyn said, that personalized link for that specific cohort. 
and they do need to register with that one. And what that will allow you to do as a moderator is to go and see the back end of the participants work. So everyone needs to sign up and register, even the attendees, because that allows you then to export some of that data into an Excel document and keep track on your participants and follow up with them if they haven't completed a course. And this is also very helpful if you're planning on giving certificates. You want to make sure that you're giving certificates to those who have actually completed the courses that you've required. Thank you, Jonathan. Friends, any other questions? What about the places where there is no internet? <laughs> Brittany or Everlyn, do you want to reply to that one? This is a limitation, I know. <laughs> yeah, Evelyn probably has more knowledge than me. We have piloted unbundling some of the courses for in-person. Evelyn, do you want to speak to that? Yes, uh, for, for places where there is no internet connectivity at all, I think it's not going to really work. But the best part, it, it can work with the data, the bundles, and it doesn't take a lot of bundles. So we encourage our learners that you can move to a place where there is internet connection. But if you are in a place where there is no internet connection at all, I don't think you will be able to do to do the course. Unless you download all the transcript when you have a Wi-Fi and then you move back and just go and read them in your own time. And yes, like that, like that. But it really wants a, an internet connection or data, mobile data works also best. I would also add, we do have some, not all, but some of the courses from One Hope are based on trainings that were developed to be delivered in person or on Zoom. So it's possible if you're running some learners in, in those courses online that you could have a parallel in-person experience for your learners that don't have internet. So that's possible, but I would say that's a small amount of our courses that we have that option for. Obviously the, the one for 5012 has that option. Another, another idea that you could do to navigate that one is finding someone in your group that does have working internet and actually host some of the participants to come to their house or their area because maybe they're in the same village transportation isn't as much of an issue but i've had that on the in our zoom conversations but maybe where they could all get around one device and and all do the course uh, together in one particular place at least that will work for the discussion moments afterwards but uh, you can encourage your participants to find places to go that are nearby that maybe has internet. I do see a question about you've changed your email address. How can you start with the new email? I believe you should be able to sign in with your old email, go to your profile, and you should be able to update your email in your account to your new one. But if you have trouble with that process, you can reach out to 414 Academy support and we'll help you with that as well if you have trouble. This question is here, does one join a group or cohort automatically after signing up or what? And it was mentioned that it was advisable to join a cohort where members at easily accessible. So after you've taken the moderator's course, you'll learn how to set up that custom cohort where you send out that, that individual personalized link to that cohort. And so once they register for that, then that participant, just as Evelyn said, when you log back out and log back in, all your courses and your progress will be saved where you were before, as long as you're going back in under that same email address. So if they join another cohort, they may have some of the same courses available to them and they may take those courses, but the, the feedback or the results of those courses, the moderator would not be able to see that progress because they join through another link. The uh, workaround for that is it, it will show up in your account once you've taken a course that you've taken that course, no matter what cohort you've done it. So if you've already taken the one for 50 collection of courses and you then are offered a cohort link by someone else in your network that wants you to be a part of this group, if you've already taken some of those courses, it should show up in there if you've registered with the same email that you've already taken those courses and you can just then go back and review those courses. Did I answer that correctly, Brittany? 
Yeah, for sure. I would, I would add, if you do see the same courses in another group, you just click on the course once and it migrates your progress over. So it may, you may have to actually click on the course to get your progress to pull. I would also add, there's a difference between we have a lot of courses have what we call public cohorts. So if you're in a space where you're just like exploring, you want to see what content is available, there's a lot of public cohorts you can go ahead and join. Those cohorts don't have a moderator, don't have a leader. They're not for a specific region or group. They're just kind of open to any learner for free. So you can join those to explore. But Jonathan and Evelyn have both reiterated, there is a benefit to like creating your own group if you want to lead your own students. If you're interested in that, like Jonathan said, you can contact that support email, take that moderator course that he has the QR code for is a great place to start just to kind of learn what that moderator experience is like. But then if you're like, yes, I want to do a group, I have this topic in mind, or I've looked at the platform and I have these courses I want them to take, then we could work with you to set up a group where you would join as the leader. So maybe that helps fill it out just a little more. First of all, I would like to thank everyone and especially uh, both our presenters for sparing their time and their knowledge to share our experiences with 414 Academy, integrating with 1450. I'm sure this is a great information and inspiring content for every one of us to be as a trainer to empower others. Thank you so much, Brother Jonathan. Uh, thank you, Sister Evelyn. And thank you everyone to be a part of this training session today. We will be having our next enrichment call on 3rd December. But before that, we have two important and special calls uh, that is related with Global uh, Children, for, Children Ministry Forum, 2nd November and 3rd November. And you can uh, scan the QR code and register yourself on the family missions. If you are interested on families and missions and youth leadership development, these are the two calls will benefit you and uh, may you get benefited through these two calls on this November 2nd and uh, November 23rd. And our own 1450 one enrichment call falls on 3rd December, which is going to be a great and interesting call. And many of us have a question to help our children to defend our defend their faith in this world today. We live in the world of challenges, questions after the questions, children are uh, children are challenged to answer and defend their faith. So here is a call will help you uh, and you can help your children to defend their faith uh, to stand firm for the Lord. So that is going to be on 3rd December. So please make yourself available to be a part of that call. I'm sure that this will be a great blessing to each of us. As we conclude the call, once again, I would like to uh, thank every one of us to be a part of this call today. May I request Reverend Ray to pray for Sister Jenny and conclude? Let's uh, come to the Lord in prayer and thank God for the life of Sister Jenny. Uh, we've been used mightily by the Lord for several years in uh, with a 1450 movement. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for your daughter Jenny, thank you for the way that you have used her mightily with the ministry of a 1450 movement. We know that you're the one who called her to minister among these people as she had related to us, uh, attended the conferences, and at the same time working and being immersed with the ministry as a whole. We thank you for those time and effort and everything that she has contributed in establishing finances, the, the systems and the processes that uh, we do have here, oh God. And it's indeed a joy and privilege to be serving with, with her in this ministry. And so with everyone, I know we do all agree and thank you for the way that she's done what you have entrusted her to do. And Father, as she transitioned with Action International, going full-time with uh, almost the same work and ministry that she will be having. We are committing her unto you. And most of all, thank you also for how you have already healed her and strengthening her 
to do the work that you have given her, O oh God. We commit her unto you now for your glory and for your honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.